Hi everybody, time for a quick look inside Vancouver Public Schools. I'm Nick Vole. Construction of a new wing here at Columbia River High School is coming along nicely. When it's finished, students and staff will have a new place to teach and learn, and that has them thinking about the future. But thanks to an accident right here, they're also now thinking about a heartwarming piece of their past. The call came into Clark County Fire District 6 just after midnight one night in October. A water main had broken at Columbia River High School where construction crews were working to build a new wing. 1,600 gallons a minute came roaring out until firefighters managed to close the valves. The next day, Clark Public Utilities came out to fix the pipe and inspect a new fire hydrant. That's when Clark PUD Inspector David Nybert made a discovery. I saw this glass bottle, I thought it was a beer bottle at first, laying here in the in you know some dirt and mud and I picked it up and realized it was a little bit more than just an old beer bottle. He cleaned the bottle and looked inside. There's a little scroll in here with a story and names of students from 1963. Back in 63, River was just a brand new high school still establishing its identity. A group of eighth graders planted a gum tree and the bottle on the western edge of campus. Years later, the gum tree died and a wall went up, concealing the bottle until now, when the flood washed it from its hiding place. But this is uh, quite a find. This is unbelievable. For Principal Alex Odopal, the timing of this discovery couldn't be better. It's um, a great opportunity for our students to really be connected, for our community to be connected to where this school has been on this journey and as we evolve into the, into the future because this remodel is pretty remarkable. At an impromptu ceremony, David from the PUD, Construction Project Superintendent Dan Kopp, and Bonnie Womack, a River staff member, joined Principal Odapal to read the scroll inside the bottle. Bonnie is also a River graduate. Her sister was in the class of 67, whose students planted the tree and buried the bottle four years earlier. This liquid dambar, or sweet gum tree, was planted by Advisory 207 of Columbia River High School in the year of our Lord. 1,963. The undersigned have helped pick out the tree, raise money through a candy sale, and set it in the earth. The scroll is being framed and will be given a place of honor when the new wing is completed. It's a fitting tribute to the students who helped build Columbia River into the school it is today, a way to connect the past with the present and the future. We stand on the shoulders of giants here at River. Construction is still a couple of months away from completion, but you can keep track of all of the different construction projects going on around the district on the district website. It's vansd.org slash reschools. You can see a timeline of past, future, and current projects, and also see what's happening in your neighborhood. Until next time, I'm Nick Bull.